Good morning, everyone. My name is Bianca, and my dog Diesel and I live out of my SUV. Today, we woke up along a very rushing river. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. It's six o'clock in the morning, the sun is just up, so let's go check out this raging river. I don't know if it's because I've been driving through cow land, but anytime I approach my car, it, it stinks. It smells like poop. And I can't figure out where exactly it's coming from and it's driving me crazy. Oh, and look. I lost this part of my car. I will properly dispose of this somewhere. Here's the sitch. Diesel and I are currently like right on the border of North Dakota and Iowa. As in that bridge, one side is North Dakota, this side is Iowa. The plan was to go into the Badlands National Park. Yesterday, Diesel and I left a long extended stay in Wisconsin. We were there for like a week. I don't have any groceries and I would have to do that. And I also have not had service anywhere in like eight days. So I would have to research some stuff. And I figured that would take time. But more importantly than that, last night, I'm not sure what happened. I don't want to say that Diesel had a seat but something happened. I heard some noises in the middle of the night so I woke up and it was like he was kind of confused and just kind of like I I don't know it was really weird to describe he's fine right now I don't know what that was I don't know what happened so I think it would just be smart for me to stay near the city kind of just in case anything like that happens again so I could take him to a vet or an emergency hospital it didn't it didn't last that long only a couple of seconds but I could tell he was like kind of startled and scared I watched him for the rest of the night I'll probably find something closer to the city I won't be staying here again um, so I think I think yeah I think today we're just gonna do a little bit of groceries and some research and kind of just hang around. Anyways, I'm gonna get do these dishes and then find a way out of here. After doing some research on signs and what dog seizures look like, it's so much on a spectrum, but I'm a little more confident that maybe that's not what it was. However, again, just to make sure and just in case, I will be staying around the Sioux Fall area for the day uh, and overnight just to kind of monitor him and make sure that he's a-okay, but he's, he's fine now. He ate his breakfast and he had some water and He's just being adorable. So I'm at Walmart right now, uh, but the Aldi's just open. So I don't I don't know if I wanna go into Walmart or go into Aldi's better. Uh, I am gonna go into Walmart to use the restroom anyways. And then I'll decide where to get the groceries. I just left Aldi's and honestly, I didn't really get much. Uh, but <laughs> so what i was trying to say before i was rudely interrupted and let me tell you i sat there for maybe like 15 20 minutes afterwards just kind of like going through social media and stuff like that because again i haven't had service in forever so i'm like just like responding to people letting them know i'm alive the guy in the truck never came out he just sat there so i couldn't even film if i wanted to I mean, I could have, honestly. I just need to get over it, but. I was just going through my, um, what do you call those? Like filtered comments, so YouTube just like automatically filters it. And someone said that my shaved head represents thugs and it's the reason I have high blood pressure. And I just thought that was so funny. <laughs> People are wild. Go touch grass, play outside, do something, man, because why are you, why are you so angry? It's just, why does it bother you so much? I mean, if you don't like it, just don't look at it. 
because I couldn't find everything that I wanted at Aldi's. I just like looked up markets because I would like to get my produce from farmers markets or farmers and such like that just to like you know support smaller places so i went on google maps and i just like looked up market and then there's this place called fair market it's a discounted store it's right here and it says discounted items include groceries and non -gro non grocery items that are near dated post dated discontinued label changes overstock or excessive inventory what and like i'm looking at the pictures box i mean you can't see it but it's box of cheerios for a dollar or 50 cents oatmeal these bottles of gatorade 50 cents are you kidding me that's amazing muscle milk 80 cents this four pack three dollars these dessert things, $1.50. Oh my, I, I mean, I could go on. This was really impressive. They have protein bars for $2, like boxes of multiple protein bars for $2. I'm gonna have a field day in there. Why doesn't every place have this? The post expiration date kind of gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies, but again, it doesn't really matter because I know some stuff is like better because it's like suggested, but if it's near the expiration date that's amazing because like it's I, I mean i can't hold that much stuff i'm gonna be using it like right away because they're non-perishable items i might stock up a little bit because this is insane this is amazing sioux fall area fair market yeah <laughs> that I got. I do have a lot of food sensitivities and I'm trying to stay away from snacking too much. You sure about that? You sure about that? So I controlled myself a bit. Cereals, cookies, chips, all that stuff. Like I was like, I can't get that. Muscle milk, $1.10 each and they don't expire till next year. I got two boxes of this quinoa, $1.50, rosemary and olive oil, RX bars, and two things of coffee for four dollars each and i think at the store they're like seven or more whatever and as a free little treat they gave me some thin mint girl scout cookies how lovely <laughs> yeah that's it's really cool there i will say there are some stuff like if it expired in 2023 it's june 2024 i would say maybe you know don't but like this this doesn't go bad. You know what I mean? It's a non-perishable item. I think that's how that works. Don't quote me. <laughs> Maybe do your research. If I get sick, we know why. That was a great experience. And I'm sorry about the beeping. There's a truck just reversing right in front of me. Forgot to mention, there's also uh, like so many juices. Again, trying to stay away from like just consuming sugar and all that stuff. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. And there's also toiletry items, shampoos, conditioners, razors, things like that. If you can find something like that around you, bang it. 10 out of 10 recommend. I still like don't have main protein sources. Like I did just get some protein shakes, but that's like sometimes I get really lazy and I don't want to eat. So I'll just have a replacement protein shake. I need like pepperoni, salami for my wraps. Um, I might go back to Walmart because I like those individually packaged pre-seasoned meats because it's just easier for me to prepare. I can't wait that face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I love you. I did it again. I got juice. Typically I don't, but guava mango? Got me some ground beef. Pepperoni and salami. Does Fergus need to be refrigerated? Mm, maybe. It's about 12 o'clock. Oh my God, it's still so early in the day. It's a little rainy. I'm gonna head to the public library here and see if I can mooch off their Wi-Fi from the parking lot. Because it's rainy and cloudy, it's windy and kind of nice out. So I have no problem staying in the car. So I'm gonna see if their Wi-Fi reaches my, my car. Try to, right there, right there. Look at my eyes. Are they not crossed? Why are they doing that? Anyways, okay. 
I'm going to go to the library so they can see the, steal their Wi-Fi. It's not stealing. It's public. You know, I just borrow, use, can use their Wi-Fi. Also, I went to Google to look up a library and look up the reviews and look, look at this. What does this have to do with the library? People are weird. Let's see if my Wi-Fi is picking it up. Public library. Well, let's see if it works first. <laughs> I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to be doing some work from the car. I thought about getting my laptop, but everything that I need to do, I can do from my phone. I have unlimited data, but it's better to be on the Wi-Fi. Maybe eventually I'll get like annoyed enough to get my laptop. I haven't really eaten anything. I've just snacked on those mango things I got, which are pretty delicious, but I'm not really that hungry. Um, I think the stress of like making sure Diesel's okay has made me <sighs> not have an appetite. So I'll eat when I'm hungry though. I also have to figure out where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Oh, there's one recording. Just like yelling at my phone. You know what I mean? There is something called Sioux Falls Park and it's free entrance uh, and you see the waterfalls and their bathrooms. Uh, it says it closes at midnight so I think after I'm done here Diesel and I are going to take a little stroll at this Sioux Falls Park. There is a Walmart right out of town not the one that I was just at that people called and literally <laughs> Diesel Beast the Bus that's the visitor name and it was just like a couple weeks ago uh they called ahead to make sure they allow overnight parking and they do so that might be a good option for us oh and if you're wondering how i am looking for spots there is a free app um, it's called i overlander and it's basically people that live in rvs or cars or whatnot they post places where you can for dump stations laundry showers stuff like that so it's a super cool and amazing resource to have um, i found some amazing spots so far using this app get it Okay, so I have a general idea of what we're going to do tomorrow and where we're going to stay tonight. We'll probably stay a couple of days in, in North and in South Dakota. I keep saying North Dakota. South Dakota. Oh no, this little bit brought in this water. That's fine now. It's, it's not like soaked or anything. I'll just put the towel there. I'm not even the biggest fan of Thin Mints. However, this was a free gift. So, I must indulge. Not that bad. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Hopefully this rain stops so we can go to that um, park and look at the waterfalls. The tongue is just getting more and more intense. <laughs> you hungry? Hmm? You hungry? Come on. hooligans right next to me. I think these people are traveling in their van. Oh my goodness. The Diesel Weasel ate all his food. Diesel Weasel ate all your food, huh? Good boy. Oh my goodness. You're so precious. I love you so much. <laughs> I knew it.
critter over there. And I don't know what it is. I want to know. What is that? Looks like a little mouse. He goes into the ground. It was like spotted. What is that? What are you? You're so cute. Look at those big eyes. What is that? Somebody identify that, please. Let's play how many different hairstyles can Bianca have in one video. It is seven o'clock right now. Oh my gosh, seven o'clock. Okay, Diesel and I were at that park for like two and a half hours. We were chilling under the shade of a beautiful tree. It, the weather, 10 out of 10, Diesel was just napping. What I have decided to do is, okay, Badlands is four hours away. And that is something that you kind of want to do pretty early in the day because it can get pretty hot out there. Again, it's one of those things that the overlooks and stuff aren't that far from the parking lot. You could just pull over and see, but I still, I don't want it to be hot. So what I decided to do was I picked a spot that is two hours away in the next nearest town. And I have already mapped out any veterinary clinics or um, emergency animal hospitals. We're just gonna take a gander on that way. I found a spot on iOverlander. Diesel has been really good today. I don't know if it was me being overly paranoid. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna drive like two hours. I think I'm gonna do the thing that I don't wanna do, which I haven't done so far. And that is like, just get some fast food somewhere. I really wanna avoid doing that at all costs, but I don't feel like cooking and I just wanna grab something really quick. And hopefully by the time, um, I, I keep taking it off because I know the glare's really bad. By the time we get to whatever spot I pick, the weather's nice and cool because it can range so much out here. I went to rub my nose and I yeeted the ball off my nose ring. What are the chances I'm gonna find it? I'm here at the fast food restaurant. It's my guilty pleasure. It's the one with the good fries. You know the one. <laughs> Today was kind of eventful, yet productive, yet necessary. Um, Diesel has been doing absolutely great. We were walking around our little spot, which by the way, how awesome. So of course, yes, I am gonna wake up in the morning and jump in there. I was thinking maybe I should just stay a day, relax around here. I have service, the water is right there. It's gonna be nice and chilly. I have to cook. I don't know, I guess I'll decide when I wake up what I'm gonna do. Um, I might stay or I might go. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on this kind of like low profile kind of day. Obviously I will keep you guys updated on how Diesel's doing, but for the moment, it seems like everything's fine. I mean, I probably am being dramatic, which I tend to do when it concerns him. Yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I already said bye <laughs> and then go rambling on another tangent, but we hope you guys stick around for our other adventures um, throughout South Dakota, hopefully chasing this cold weather. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!